The explorer sorts transcoders by the total amount of stake. Each transcoder sets their own reward cut, their own fee share, their own price, and their own total stake. You can click on a transcoder and learn more about their performance. It's your job as a token holder to research transcoders based upon their past performance, statistics, rates they're charging, and any social campaigns that they've posted indicating why they believe they'll do a good job for the network. So let's go through each of these aspects, starting with social campaigns. You can view each transcoder's campaign by going to the forum and you can sort by transcoder campaign. So any of these tags are transcoders. This is important because some transcoders may be giving a lower fee share or keeping a higher reward cut, but they may be using that to do things that um, make the network and the protocol and the token stronger. Then there are fee statistics. You've got the price, which is the amount the transcoder will charge broadcasters per segment. And this is designated in Way. Way is the base unit of Ethereum. The price is illustrated based on a segment of video, which is four seconds. You can also look at the reward cut. Reward cut is the percent of the newly minted token that the transcoder keeps from the round's inflation dis distribution. The remainder gets distributed across all bonded nodes in proportion to how much that delegator has bonded relative to others. So, for example, the second transcoder has a 49% reward cut. That means that if a transcoder were to receive 100 live peer in block reward, and their reward cut was 49%, they would keep 49 live peer token and distribute the remaining. Fee share is how much the delegator receives of the price per segment. Total stake is the amount of live peer token staked towards this node, including the transcoder's own stake. Great, so now you know how to assess the different transcoders. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to bond your token.